So I've been doing a series of reviews for small portable speakers for MP3 players, iPods, iPhones, that sort of thing. And basically I've come to the conclusion, I started off trying to get something to replace a music bullet that I had had that I usually would pop in my pocket and take down to work or someplace if I just wanted something where I could have portable music besides headphones to listen to something with. And really I've kind of come to the conclusion that you're not going to get anything noticeably better for the same type of price range. And I'll go ahead and pop this out and I'll give you guys a couple of reasons why. Alright, so it pops right out like that. So I will try to get a sound demonstration on this, but I'm going to have to play it and then talk through it a little bit so it doesn't trigger the copyright violation. Because if YouTube recognizes the song when I try to test out the speaker, they're going to, you know, tag it as a copyright violation. But anyways, this is the Music Bullet. Now the main reason I think this is actually for the money, the best speaker you're going to get, is because it doesn't take any batteries. Now this and most of the other speakers I've tried out take at least three double A's or four triple A's, that type of thing. And really not much better sound. I expected to put batteries in something that you're going to get a lot bigger sound. Now this little Music Bullet, all this does is charge off your computer. It's got an internal battery in it. And so you just leave this charging at night or something. Now this does suffer a little bit with anything with a lot of bass or real hard rock. Um, easy listening kind of music, pop stuff. Plays really well. Sound, everything's good on this. And where it does suffer and lag, this suffers just the same, really. And this, most of the other speakers I looked at were $20 plus. This Music Bullet, like I said, is $14.99. And I will go ahead and put a link underneath it here for where I got this so that you can get it for the same price. Some places have it for a little more. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to my little MP3 player here, my Kobe. I do have a review for this Kobe MP3 player as well if you're looking for an MP3 player. Um, I'll try to put a link right around here somewhere. You should see it hovering. All right, I'm going to hook it up to the music bullet and let you guys hear the sound real quick. I won't be able to play it for long, just for a second, but I wanted to do a sound demonstration since that's the main thing a lot of people wanted to hear. So... I will do my best to give you guys at least a little sample of what the sound's going to be like. The retractable cord is also another feature that goes right in, another thing that makes this so nice and portable really. Alright guys, so I've just got my MP3 player hooked up to the Music Bullet. I'm going to turn it on. There's no volume on the Music Bullet itself, so it's all controlled with your MP3 player, but there is an on-off switch right here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Here we go. I'm turning it up now. We're on 25. Now we're going up to 28, 29, 30. All right, this is all the way up at number 30. So that was the full volume sound there. I know I had to talk over it so you couldn't hear it as well. I'll try one more song. All right, guys, I'm going to start turning it up now. So I'm 27. All right, so that's the full volume, but not bad, really. You can hear how much sound you get out of this thing. This is for a tiny speaker with no batteries in it. All right, guys, that's for the Music Bullet. And like I said, I put a link under this video where you can pick it up for $14.99 right now online.